Welcome back into the Morning Rush. Senator John Bozeman now joins us. Really appreciate the time. I want to get right into a conversation that many of our listeners are having as small business owners. What is the Paycheck Protection Program, and how is it going to affect the economy here in Arkansas? Well, the pay- Paycheck Protection Program has been very, very popular. Uh, earlier, uh, several weeks ago, we passed a, a bill that had $250 billion dollars uh, dedicated to it. They set it up, uh, got all the administrative stuff out of the way, and it was really sold out in a very short period of time. What it does is allow uh, business people, small business, 500 employees or less, to uh, access a loan program. And if most of that money is dedicated to salary, uh, overhead, things like that, then the loan is actually forgiven. And so it's a good program. Again, it's been very, very popular. Right now, we're in the process. In fact, the Senate voted yesterday to, uh, you know, allow additional funds. Over 300, over 300 billion additional funds will go into the program for a total of, uh, you know, over 550, 560, 570 Mm -hmm. billion dollars. So lots of money. But it is a good program. It's something that your listeners, your small business people, uh, look into, they can go to the Small Business Association SBA website, get lots of information there. They can actually see the forms that that you can see to, to sign up for. But it is something to consider, and uh, they might visit with their account, you know, see if it works for them. There's another program called I, uh, EIDL, and this program is also through the Small Business Administration uh, in the bill that we passed Yesterday, there's additional funding for it. It also was oversubscribed because of its popularity. This allows you to uh, to get low interest loans, things like that. It also has an emergency loan uh, provision for small businesses uh, that you can actually get ten thousand uh, dollars that you don't have to pay back. So these are these are programs that are that are helpful. Uh, the situation that we're in now is, you know, we're trying to do all we can to uh, to protect jobs, uh, doing our best to protect businesses. So once this is over, people have a place to go back to work. Uh, these aren't bailout programs. These are these are really, uh, you know, trying to survive programs. And so uh, I would really encourage your listeners to go to the to the small business uh, website. They also can talk to their banker. Uh, the bankers are helping to administer these programs and get good advice there. Uh, on the other hand, if they're if they're serious about doing it, they should, you know they should go ahead and get the forms filled out because uh, it won't be too long before the money uh, uh, is depleted. Senator John Bozeman with us here on the Morning Rush. Um, some people may not know that, Senator, you played for the Razorbacks, uh, I think, 69 through 73. And sports have been a part of your life. Sports are, as you well know, ingrained in our state. And they're such an economic driver. When, when there's not high school sports going on, when there's not Razorback sporting events going on, there's not people eating in restaurants, staying in hotels, uh, sports and what we talk about every morning is a it's a huge driver of the economy and um, you know here in Arkansas it's a it's a big industry for tourism and sports. What are some of the things that are going to have to happen and, and the things you're hearing there in Washington to to really return sports to what we've known before? Because it's not just about the games and the competition; it's it's about the economic driver that it becomes. Well, it really is, and, and, you know, it touches so many different people. It touches the players, it touches the coaches, all the ancillary, the, you know, the cheer squads, the bands, the, you know, the students, the, the state, you know, uh, is, as you, you know, look at the different institutions that you that you support. And as you say, you know, there's lots of traveling in that, lots of uh, game day activities that, that uh, certainly make a huge difference uh, regarding uh in some cases, uh, uh, hotels, uh, almost in every case, restaurants and things like that as you're coming out. So um, we're just going to have to continue to muddle through for a while. We're blessed in Arkansas in the sense that uh, I think the governor's done a great job. His support staff of, of the medical people that he's taking advice from are very, very good. Uh, Nate Smith, that's head of the uh, uh, Depart- 
Department of Health, Cam Patterson, which the uh, head of the uh, UAMS system. Uh, those guys really are doing a good job. So I think we're moving in the right direction, and uh, hopefully we'll get back to some normalcy you know, in the next few weeks. Uh, uh, Coach Pittman, uh, yeah. I had the opportunity to, to, to meet him not too long ago, and we had a mutual friend in common. Although I don't know if you'd ever call you know an ex-coach of yours a friend, <laughs> uh, in the sense you know they're they're you know they're more than father figures. You know these people are, are have so much influence on your life. But uh, Charlie Cooper, who's the coach yeah. at Rogers when I was on the school board, uh, who I got to know very very well, just a, a person of character. But uh, Coach Pittman credited him with developing his toughness. And so, you know, coaches really do have a, a big impact on players and and, uh, and the schools. And so that's another area that we're missing right now. You know, young people are, are not having uh, that influence. They're not able to, to uh, you know, get together. And, and so there's all different aspects of this that are very, very important. Well, you'd know a thing or two about toughness in football because you played for the legendary Bill Stansel. And if I heard it once, I heard it three times about <laughs> – you were a senior when my dad was a sophomore, I guess, at, at Fort Smith Northside. Yeah. And he always, if it, and when, particularly when you got in Congress first, if it hadn't been for John Bozeman, I'd have been a three year starter at Northside. So I've, I've heard some stories about yours and my dad's days back uh, with Coach Stancil. And, and that was some real toughness that uh, may not be allowed by law in today's times. <laughs> well, it's just a different era, you know, back then. And, and a lot of those guys were Bear Bryant proteges. And, uh, you know, they believed in uh, uh, being in shape. Yeah. But you're, you can be so proud of your daddy. He was such a, uh, uh, you know, as I told you earlier, he was a very, very tough guy on the football field, but uh, a very nice guy off the field and a great leader and, uh, you know, really exhibited all the things that uh, yeah, that uh, a coach would want of a young young player and then uh, went on to, to be uh, that uh, throughout his life. So oh, that's you. very special. Thank you. We, we sure miss. But yeah, those guys were tough guys, and and uh, yeah, and and not to say that they're not now. Uh, the the advantage that we've got now is that uh, you can you can work people out in a very smart way with all of the physiology that we know about now, uh, the exercise physiology, and uh, uh, we know much better what to eat, you know, what to, to not eat, uh, and then also uh, just the training regimens. Uh, you know, that are so effective compared to, to maybe some of the th- other things that we did in the past. How do you think Governor Hutchinson has done in response to other states, and how do you think our Kansans are reacting better or worse to what's going on right now? I think Governor Hutchinson has done not a good job. He's done a tremendous job and uh, provided the leadership that we need in a very difficult time. And again, you know, these are tough decisions to make, uh, as we talked earlier. Uh, it, you know, livelihoods are at stake. And so uh, I think he's done a very, very good job of weighing all the pros and cons uh, from his health advisors, also listening to his people that uh, are so involved with the economy. And uh, I think he's made good choices. Uh, so he is in the process now of seeing how we can start to reopen things. I think that's good. I think the people of Arkansas overall have done a really good job with the social distancing. And I, I think the the numbers bear that out. When you look at the, the number of cases that we've had, the number of deaths, uh, we've actually done a very good job. And, and some of that is, you know, again, good practices. Uh, some of it also is just having a, a wonderful uh, health team throughout our state that uh, are doubling up, helping out in the hot spots. Uh, early on, we were uh, pretty vigilant about helping uh, you know, uh, shut down the, the, the uh, uh, assisted living uh, type areas, nursing homes, uh, people that were very vulnerable. And so we've had some hiccups. But we really have, I think, all worked together to to, uh, to make it work as best we could in a very, very difficult time. You know, I, you have to go back to World War II to have anything mm-hmm. resembling this. And since we're fighting two enemies, uh, we're fighting the virus. And I think we're doing a pretty good job of that uh, throughout the country. Uh, 
and then also we're fighting this economic downturn because the the thing that seems to be the most effective with the virus is social distancing. Uh, but that uh, you know has has totally disrupted the economy, and you have to you have to believe also that that it's not only in our country it's it's throughout the world. Mm-hmm. So the idea of the entire world economy uh, just grinding to a halt right now, it's starting to to pick back up, but it did grind to a halt, and so there's some repercussions. The other thing that that you know would be at the very top of the the news right now, if it weren't for all this other stuff, is the uh, the collapse of the oil prices. Right, and uh, for us in, in Arkansas, that you know that's a significant portion of our GDP. Our friends in Oklahoma, uh, really throughout the country, uh, this is something that uh, you know is pretty devastating. So, uh, and part of that is the collapse of the uh, economy. Uh, us, you know, that you just don't see any traffic right now. Not here, but throughout the world. And then the other thing is this, you know, this oil fight between the uh, the Russians and uh, the Saudis that it looks like, uh, you know, with lots of countries' intervention, including our president, that's calmed down a little bit. But, but this is going to have significant repercussions as we go forward. Senator, thank you for your time. I know... Uh it's a it's a hectic time like 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 there's never been before in Washington, and uh, we appreciate all you're doing for the natural state. Well, we appreciate you guys. So, tell me about the. Uh, I guess everybody's happy with the uh, the coach and uh, his draft, not his draft, but his uh, recruiting class, player selection, yeah. recruiting class. That looks like that was outstanding. Yeah, in basketball, Coach Musselman, and then the. Uh, uh, it looks like Coach Pittman is, is starting to move things along, so those are very positive things. Yeah, we just need to play some games now. <laughs> I think more than anything, we're, we're, we're missing Dave Van Horn and that baseball team making another run. No, that's, that's right. That's what we're missing right now, Senator. No, that's right. And track, you know, and you feel sorry for, you know, just you know these people that work so hard and uh, you know are approaching their their latter days, you know, playing for their institutions and just not being able to compete. And then, too, uh, you know, the, the, the joy that we get in uh, celebrating, uh, you know, their efforts. Uh, it, it's just a, it's a different situation right now, for sure. All right. Well, thank you for your time this morning, and uh, we'll do it again soon. Well, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it very, very much.